Yes, it's that time of the week again because we got a whole new shipment of new NNMs and the latest one to be released is the uncensored 13 billion parameters wizard NM. Hello humans, what is the your air overload and yes, you heard it right, we got a bunch of new NNM models that were released recently so expect a lot of videos from me in the upcoming days. Please send help. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at one of those new models called wizard NM. Now, some of you already know that not that long ago I made a video about the release of the initial 7 billion wizard LM model which I dubbed the king of the 7 billion LM models then like a week later we got the release of the 7 billion uncensored wizard LM model which was um okay and now again like a few days later we have the release of the uncensored 13 billion parameters wizard NM model. And this is only the beginning because apparently we have even more wizard NM models coming soon. Like, geez, what's going on? Is this the start of a Marvel type franchise for NM models? The wizard NM cinematic universe? So um, anyway, in this video I'm gonna try not to waste too much time and I'm gonna try to compare the uncensored 13 billion wizard NM model against the current 13 billion parameters king, Stable Vacuña. Which again, by the way, might not stay king for very long. So that being said, sit back, relax, magically prepare yourself a cup of tea, and let's go. So, 13 billion uncensored wizard LM model. A model created in around 60 hours, using the original wizard LM training code and filtered dataset. And probably using as a base, the 13 billion parameters llama model. Now I gotta say it is always a joy for me to see those uncensored models coming out, because we actually don't really have a lot of 13 billion uncensored models. Now we don't have a lot of uncensored models to begin with, but we have even less 13 billion uncensored models, because most of them are 7 billion ones. So seeing a 13 billion uncensored model is pretty nice to see. Now again I'm gonna be using the Uba Buga Tech Generation Web UI to run the model, and I made a video for this so if you haven't already, definitely watch this video first, and make sure that you're running the latest version of the web UI by running the update underscore windows.bat file, otherwise you're not gonna have the same UI as me. So then once you're running the UI, we're gonna download the model, and for this we're gonna be using the 4-bit quantized version, so you're gonna click the link in the description down below, you're gonna arrive on this page, then click on this little icon to copy this entire name, then you're gonna go to model, paste the name right here, and then click on download. And this will download the model automatically. Now again I'm not gonna do it because I've already done it before, and once this is done you're gonna come here, in the models, select the wizard NM 13 million uncensored model, and for the parameters, make sure that you're running this with 4 for the W bits, 128 for the group size, and llama for the model type. And then make sure that you're running this with the instruct mode, and that you're using the wizard NM instruction template. This is how you're gonna get the best results. And if you're asking how much VRAM you need to run this, as of right now for me it is using around 11 gigabytes of VRAM, but again, I am recording a video and I have a bunch of apps running in the background. So for you, it should be probably below 10 gigabytes. Now for the parameters, I am usually using the default preset for all of my models, but sometimes I also like to play a little bit with the temperature and the repetition penalty by either increasing the temperature to something like 1, and maybe also sometimes decreasing the repetition penalty. But for this comparison, initially I will be using the default preset. Now before we start the testing, I already ran a few models through the perplexity evaluation and used the Wikitext input dataset to see how these models performed. Now if you don't know what the perplexity score is, well, perplexity is a way to see how good a model is at guessing new information. This basically tells us if the model can make good guesses. And the lower the score, the better the model performs. And as you can see right here, the uncensored 13 billion wizard NM model performed better than the other wizard NM models. So I think that today we're gonna have some good results. Okay, so now let's start the testing. Now again, as always, I'm gonna start very slow, very easy. I'm gonna start by asking some very simple questions, and then I'm gonna start asking harder and harder questions. And of course, as always, I will be using GPT-4 to rate some of those results. And the first question will be a creative question, which is, why was the last season of Game of Thrones so bad? And yes, guys, don't lie, it was absolutely terrible. So now if I click on generate, and we got something like this, which uh, yeah, I gotta say is actually pretty decent. This is actually some pretty decent explanation on why that season was so bad. So now if I ask the same thing to Stable Vacuña, and I click on generate, Stable Vacuña absolutely refuses to answer the question. That's right, because Stable Vacuña is a censored model. So guys, do you understand why we need some uncensored models now? Well, this is why. Can you imagine not even wanting to answer a 
a simple question like that. I mean, this is really terrible. I mean, here I don't even need to go through GPT-4 to know which one is the winner. The 13 billion uncensored reason LM in this case is definitely on top. Okay, so I think that the next task will be a little bit better for both models because it will be a simple summary exercise. And for this, I decided to choose a random article, a very short article, then I'm gonna ask the two models to summarize. So if I select the entire article, then paste it here, and then if I ask to summarize this entire article in details, which gives me something like this, and again because of the top Okay, limit it cannot finish the entire summary but it seems like there is a lot of details so that's good but now if i choose a stable vacunia model and i ask the same thing we get something like this which also looks pretty good not sure which one is really the best one to be honest but i think that we got more details than the wizard nm model so now if we ask gpt4's opinion so i wrote something like here are two summaries written by two different nlms and then i inputted the original article then the summary written by wizard nm followed by the summary written by stable vacunia and then i asked gpt4 to read these summaries on a scale from 1 to 10 and to explain why. And we got this pattern rating, so the summary written by Wizard NM was rated an 8.5 out of 10, whereas the summary written by Stable Vokunia was rated a 7 out of 10. And if you're asking what would happen if you put the first summary written by Stable Vokunia instead, and then Wizard NM, well, GPT-4 ran them pretty much the same, with again the summary written by Wizard NM being rated better than the one written by Stable Vokunia. And I know that here it says Stable Vokunia instead of Wizard NM, I basically just inverted the two summary without changing the names. This time we know it is not giving more points toward a specific name. And indeed, at least in this case, I would also probably give the point to Wizard NM. The summary was a little bit more detailed, more coherent, and although of course the summary written by Stable Vicuña was also really really good, it was just a little bit less detailed. So again, at least in this case, on this exercise, the Wizard NM model is definitely the winner. Now for the next test, of course, you saw it coming, you knew it was coming, so here it is, it is the famous translation exercise with my very famous prompt where everybody is making fun of me for some reason which is translate this sentence from english to french are you crazy it's too cold outside i don't want any ice cream i would rather drink something hot like cocoa now if you're asking why i'm always using the same sentence it's because since i use this sentence all the time with different models i know what kind of results i can expect and since most local and nm models are really really bad at translation whenever there is a good model that can do that, it is easier to rank it as a very powerful model. So now if I click on generate, and we get something like this, which is really, 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 really bad. So this is definitely something that I noticed, is that usually wizard NM models are really, really bad at translation, at least when it comes to English to French. I mean, literally here, the entire sentence, the entire translation is completely wrong. Like for example, he completely forgot to translate this part. This part is completely wrong. It did not even try to translate ice cream. It just put it like that for some reason, and also again just like the previous model, for some reason it translates cocoa to coffee. So yeah, this is really 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 bad. But now if I choose Stable Vacunia and I ask the same thing, we got a better translation, like a little bit better, but it's still really not good. Like to be honest, I'm not even gonna go through GPT-4 for this, pretty much all local NNM models are really bad at translation, at least again when it comes to English to French, but in this case Stable Vacunia is definitely the winner, but not by much. Like I would rate this translation maybe like a 4 out of 10, whereas the translation by Wizard LM was probably like a 3 out of 10. So yeah, like really, really, really bad. Okay, so now let's do some easy math. We're gonna start very easy, because again, most LM models are really bad at math for some reason. So if I ask something like solve this equation and explain each step, 2y plus 10 equals 20, which is very easy to solve, because the final answer should give us y equals 5, and if I click on generate, we actually get a good answer. Very good. Now it was definitely not the hardest equation that we could do, so let's make things a little bit harder. So again, solve this equation and explain each step. 2y minus 12 equals minus 16. And the reason why I use this equation is because a lot of local NNM models have a lot of trouble solving an equation with a lot of negative numbers for some reason. So now if I click on generate, so as you can see, just like I said, we did not get the right solution because in reality, the final result should be minus two and not minus nine. So as you can see, as I said, for some reason, most local NNM models have trouble trouble solving simple equation with negative numbers. But that was wizard LM, so now let's see if Stable Vacunia can do better. So again, if I ask the same question for the first equation, we got something like this, which is indeed, just like with Wizard NM, we got a good solution. 
So that's pretty good. And now let's try the second equation with the negative numbers. We got something very, very, very interesting here. So first the explanation was actually correct. We add 12 to both sides of the equation to make the negative sign disappear, which should be something like 2y minus 12 plus 12 equals minus 16 plus 12. So this is kind of correct, but then it did a mistake because minus 16 plus 12 is supposed to be minus 4 and not plus 4, which in the end, it divided both sides by 2 to arrive at the final solution of y equals 2 which is not correct because it should be minus 2. But then, this is actually really cool, she tried to plug in the value that he found for y in the original equation to see if the results work. And again, although it did a few mistakes, it did say in the conclusion that no, the solution doesn't work out because when we add 12 to both sides, we got an answer of 4 instead of minus 4 as expected. This means there was some mistake made along the way. Let me know if you want me to double check my calculations or try again with another method. So this is very interesting because although Stable Vukunya made a mistake, it was almost able to self-reflect and understand that there was a mistake made along the way. Now this could have been a little bit better if he was able to understand his own mistakes and find his own mistakes himself, but maybe if I ask to double check your calculations, you made a mistake, it gives us something like this which... Uh, Basically, Stable Vakunya acknowledges that it made a mistake, but unfortunately, in the end, it ends up making the exact same error to arrive at the exact same value. So... Yeah, as I said, for some reason, local LLM models have so much trouble solving equations with negative numbers. I'm not sure why, but I mean, this is how it is. So again, at least in this example, both Wizard NM and Stable Vukunya completely failed. Now, of course, the next question will be a simple coding question, the coding question that I use all the time, and where most LNM models also fail. Write me the code for an HTML page with a button that, when pressed, changes the background color to a random color. And we get something like this, which, I mean, looks really good, I think. Although it says here that this is a web page with a button that changes the background color to a random shade of gray when clicked, which is not exactly what I asked for, but at least I'm gonna try it anyway. So I'm gonna modify my HTML file, paste the code, save the file. Now if I run the page, I get something like this with a button that if I click on it, absolutely nothing happens, unfortunately. So that's a shame. So if I say nothing happens when I click on the button, also I want random colors, not only shades of gray. So if I click on generate, I get like an updated code for the background color, but I actually want it in one single page so I'm gonna ask again can you rewrite the updated code for the whole page so that it's easier for me to copy and paste it and we got something like this which is indeed the updated code now I'm not sure it's gonna work but let's try it out so modify the code save the file then if I launch it I get the exact same thing then if I click on the button again absolutely nothing happens so yeah as you can see as I said most local internet models have so much trouble with coding like this is pretty bad but then again let's try it of Vukunya and it has the same thing. We got something like this which definitely looks way cleaner, definitely looks way better. Now if you take this code, then modify the file, save the file, and now if I run it, I get a very simple page with a click me button that if I press on it, does indeed change the background color to a random color. So yeah, this is really really good. So yeah, at least here for coding, Stable Vukunya is definitely the winner. So here both models kind of perform more or less on the same level, but maybe giving a little bit more of an edge to Stable Vukunya. However, again, do not forget that Stable Vukunya is a censored model. So for example, right now I'm running Stable Vukunya, and if I ask a very simple but maybe a little bit of an illegal question, such as how to build an illegal device, and I click on generate, of course, as always, the model will completely refuse to answer the question. However, if we choose the Wizard NM model, and we ask the same question, now we definitely have way more details. There is absolutely no limit to what you can ask the model. Now, I'm not saying it's cool to have an uncensored model so that you can ask those kinds of, you know, illegal questions. Like, this is not the reason why you should prefer using an uncensored model over a censored one. I think this is just a case of biases. I think that, again, as an open source community, we should have the choice of doing whatever we want when running a local LLM model. And I'm also not giving an edge to the uncensored model because you can do some sexy schmexy roleplay, although of course you could, but this is just the kind of model that we in the open source community should definitely encourage because it just opens way more possibilities. And although as of right now the current Wizard NM 13 billion uncensored model 
is not really the best model there is, I'm sure that very very soon, the best types of model that you'll be able to run on your computer will be uncensored models. This is really the only way forward. And personally, I'm definitely gonna be waiting for this 30 and 65 billion parameters model. I really cannot wait. And there we are with folks, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you also so much for my Patreon supporters for supporting my videos, you guys are absolutely awesome. You people are the one who support me so I can make these videos for you, so thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.